Hello and welcome to another video demonstration of LabVIEW Communication System Design Suite. I'm Chris Davis, an engineer at National Instruments, and in this video series, we'll be walking through shipping examples from the LabVIEW Communication System Design Suite, many of which will also be available on the SDR community at ni.com slash SDR community. This particular demo will cover the interactive spectral monitoring example, where we'll be able to acquire and visualize an RF signal. This example also gives you the capability to interactively reconfigure the acquisition parameters and observe the changes to the signal acquisition without stopping and restarting the VI. Now you can download this example uh, from the NI SDR community uh, from this page. If we scroll to the bottom, you'll see the download file there. We've already gone ahead and opened up our project, Spectral Monitoring Interactive.gvi. Once your USRP is configured and recognized in the NI USRP configuration utility, we can go ahead and point the device name control of this VI to the IP address of our hardware, which we've already done here. You can then set the parameters for the acquisition you'd like to make and click Run. We've pre-configured the inputs here to tune to a signal from a handheld two-way radio's channel 1. Note the other tabs for configuring timing as well as averaging, which we're not using in this example. I'll click Run and send an alarm tone from the radio to visualize the result. Now, if we interactively change the channel of the radio to channel 2 and set another alert tone, we no longer see the proper response in our VI. If we reconfigure the input parameters for the new channel, channel 2, we'll be able to see the signal coming in properly once again. So I'll change the carrier frequency from 462.5625 MHz to 462.5875 MHz. Click Reconfigure. So that concludes our simple spectral monitoring example using LabVIEW Communication System Design Suite and the National Instruments USRP platform. The code for this demo and many others is available on the SDR community at ni.com slash SDR community. Come join the conversation and learn more about how NI can help you discover software-defined radio.